Hey Mazda, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Good to be back. Yes, and uh, it's great to have you back. And you know, well, we have a two-way market here. I mean, <laughs> this Nasdaq today, Dave. Whoa, baby! If you haven't seen the Nasdaq today or the market in general, but the Nasdaq folks was down over 500 points. It's only down 150 right now. Only 150. But the bottom line is that we have a two-way market, which is a beautiful thing, actually. So yeah, you know, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Look at these markets, Dave. I mean, you know, we will have a different conversation here for maybe four or five weeks. <laughs> you know, I mean, when we look back in the last two or three years, I mean, longer than that, I mean, realistically, there's always been that trend up, up, up. And now, you know, we get a little bumpy ride here. Yeah, look, you could, uh, you know, if you spend enough time on Twitter, you can find a, a stat to prove to prove anything that this has been, you know, the best three years in the market, best 10 years, what have you, valuations at all time highs. Um, but what we do know is that the, ever since the global financial crisis, we've been in a low interest rate, no interest rate, and in some cases, negative interest rate environment. And that means that the pricing of different types of stocks, so stocks with high multiples, high expected revenue, set aside earnings growth, was extremely bid up. And now we're seeing markets begin to maybe adjust to what's an environment look like where we're not just printing money as aggressively and in fact, We've moved from this so-called QE, quantitative easing, to QT, quantitative tightening, tightening, plus interest rate hikes. And it's spooking the markets you yes. know, for good reason. Um, but I think the selling has been really sharp, uh, particularly opening this year. Maybe that's because people actually took that, that long week, that week off between uh, you know, your Christmas holiday and your, your New Year's holiday. And it's a bit of catch up here, especially as the moves in the tenure have been really aggressive. Yeah, there's no doubt. And you know, folks, I remember when the last time rates went up, I believe it was six quarters at a time. Greenspan went up six times in a row. And, you know, the market gets, it's interesting, the market gets used to it. I mean, but guess what? That's the first time that I knew that, you know, when they say take away the punch bowl, they really take away the punch bowl, man. <laughs> and, of course, he overshot at that point, but... Um, you, you can see market-wise, you know what's really good? You know what the difference now, which is really cool, when that was, folks, we didn't have as much product like direction shares to actually go both ways. You know, of course, we could go shot the queues, and, but people have a much better, uh, a much bigger, um, basically, menu of how they can protect themselves if they want to protect their portfolio or, in fact, if they want to go in a bearish position when they're thinking it's going to go down, you know, so it's pretty cool that we have many more products now that you can actually protect yourself or make money when the market is basically soft. Yeah, it's funny you bring that up. We were talking uh, with, uh, um, with with our traders and a few other folks on, on our kind of Monday call this morning. And uh, it wasn't that long ago. And you know this well, really, the gold miners, you know, your nuggets, your dust, your J nugs, your, your, your J nug. They were really what I'll call the hero products in our lineup. That's where the most trading volume was. The assets were yes. activity both was happening on a two-way basis. Last couple of years, the trading has moved toward TechL, which is uh, the, the broad-based S&P 500 tech um, uh, uh, bull fund that we have. Also, SoxL, yeah. uh, you know, on the, just on the semi side. Uh, and, a, and a few others like WebL. Um, that we web L and web S that we launched recently just focus on those kind of internet names. But now again, we're seeing a, a fund like FAS, which is a bull financials fund. FAZ is the bear come back really strong in the last couple of weeks from a volume perspective. Also, I'd encourage folks to look at a, a ticker DPST that it would stands for deposit, just region that's regional banks on the bull side. So there's a breadth of products that that traders can look at particularly if we're saying, if we believe we're in an environment where growth stocks may be a bit softer, or even if they come roaring back, we're gonna be, it, it's gonna be a big battle here um, as the, the market digests the pace uh, and path of these rate hikes, because we know it's coming. Powell's very concerned about making a mistake communication-wise, like they did in the fourth quarter of 2018 and saw the market tank 20% before bouncing back, that that doesn't happen, but the market's moving here. Um, so traders need to stay on their toes. Yes. And I'm elated you brought up these two uh, ETFs because what you have and what the ETFs I'm talking about, folks, is the DPST, OK, which is which is basically the regional banks. And of course, the FAS, which is the large banks, you know, because the the reality, you know, is that, OK, it's a large turn in the market. 
Everyone's telling us rates are going up. And if you believe that, folks, the bottom line is that banks are going to make more money. And you know what's so wild about that, Dave, is that they, the banks don't even have to trade like an investment bank. I need a deal. They already have the money. So if the spread gets bigger, guess what? They're going to make more money. I mean, it's, that's, how it, that's how it shakes out in the banks. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. So the setup here for financials um, uh, from a trading perspective, going into earnings season, which is kicking off this Friday, which is crazy to think about. Yes. Uh, really, uh, with, you know, with a bunch of the mega cap banks and others next week, this we got to be on our toes. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities for, uh, for action uh, heading into Friday and then into next week for the financials. There's no doubt. Well, listen, thanks so much for the education. Really appreciate it. Look forward to speaking in two weeks from today, Dave. Talk soon. Thank Happy you. Trade. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow's down 338. NASDAQ's off 159. S&P's off 41.